Just opened this next door in the workshop. Let's take this out. Very, very important item here. See if I can lift the thing up on my back. Stand. Uh, power cut out. I certainly have a nice bike here to test. So this is the M40. So Male, that's the brand of this motor that's coming, or here, arrived. Let's just turn it round so you can see it. 850 watt peak. So basically it's like, on stats alone right now, this is the main competitor for DJI. So let's, uh, I, you know, lightweight system, reasonable down tube size. It's not vastly smaller, but 800 watt hour battery. There's the motor there, more compact than others. On this bike, what have we got? We've got Industry 9 wheels, Dominion brakes, E13 cranks, and pretty cool suspension from Erlins. Don't forget the channel is sponsored, supported by Liat. And also today, I've got this on test, which is not uh, from Liat, this is from Feedback Sports. It's their little toolkit, it's like a ratchet and toolkit. I've basically become addicted to this thing because it's so easy to use. I've given up on all the star things, always like interfere in some kind of way. Male, uh, basically the supplier to Specialized originally. So they supplied all the reduced size motors from Specialized, their lightweight systems. Uh, their main aim now seems to be obviously to compete with the big motor brands like for like rather than just produce for them. For the end consumer, it should mean more competitive. Now we've got an SQ Labs bar on here, SQ Labs seat, so I'm gonna be comfortable. So we've got an Erlins RXF fork, TTX air shock, pedals are on, brakes are sorted, suspension's done, the whole thing's like ready to ride. We've got, well, let's just give a quick uh, rundown of how this bike works. So there's a few notable features. First thing is speed sensor on the rear. It's the same as DJI. It's got the, the slot based uh, laser sensor, speed sensor, so multi-pole. It's also the same as Centrix that do that. We've got a display on top, very clear. Now something I really like, just having a quick look here, is this remote. Clearly they've learned something from working with Specialized because this remote is amazing. It feels good, it's got all the controls, it's the right size, it's not gonna be broken off. It looks amazing, so I am very happy to see that. So now just for in comparison senses, I've got here a DJI battery. So you can see that essentially we've got the same form factor as the DJI battery. So practically we've got the same frame size as you'd have with the DJI, so that's interesting to see. Just for comparison size, that's the Marlin motor in there. I've got a DJI motor out. Size-wise, they're about the same. They look pretty much identical. I don't have a weight on this motor. Notice here we've got also their battery connector. Obviously, they've got their own customized battery connector uh, behind this flap. That's pretty reasonable. This is the charger. It's a four amp charger. Output 54 volts. 54 volts, four amps. So I think this whole system is a 48 volt system actually. So stat wise, this is 105 Newton meters. It gives a peak output of 850 watts. Uh, it's 2.5 kilos, the motor. So the same weight as Shimano and, uh, and DJI and also very close to the, the Bosch race units. It has 48 volt batteries. So that's very interesting to try. I'm interested to see if there's any difference on this now. I'm gonna go and try and ride this briefly because I'm not really feeling brilliantly well, but I wanna get on the bike anyway. So why not? Let's get out there and see if we can uh, get a ride in. Just briefly feel how it feels up a hill. And then we'll do a little bit more in depth and some back-to-back -back comparisons against the Bosch system, et cetera, over the next three days. This system, remember, this whole video, this whole series is not sponsored by Marlet. They wanted me to try this independently. Uh, and I obviously I wanted to try it independently, so super important. I have got an app uh, which I can't seem to get to log in right now, which is really annoying. Uh, it won't let me log in, which is <coughs> apparently it's set up. It's a, it's a prototype app, 
says password not valid. Okay, or something, sorry. I need to see why that is not working. Is my email address correct? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna try and figure that one out as well. So we can adjust it. Right, some other things to note. I've noticed we've got three uh, levels of support. We've got level, well, four actually, zero meaning off, level one, level two, and level three. And you've also got on the display, you've got the ability to navigate and mount, and you've got speed, rider power, cadence. We've got pitch, gear, so you can use your angle of inclination. It's actually quite easy to operate, I have to say. Power level, rider power, speed. Yeah, you've got different displays. I think it's all configurable inside the app. I need to go and obviously play with that and find out more. I'm going to probably divide the videos in two. So I'm gonna go, this is the bike, it's ready, it's arrived, I don't, and it's kind of looks like enduro trail geometry. I'll let you know when I ride it. So I'm gonna go and see if I can ride it. I'm gonna upload this video now, and then if I've got time later on in the day, I'll upload a first sort of ride input video as well. And we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Very important, follow, follow, follow. And leave comments, leave comments, because this thing I think is going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm.